Hello and welcome to Zalba Sound's YouTube channel. My name is Donald Odom. Today we're going to be covering part two of the series, How to Use QLab with the Behringer X32 slash uh, Midas M32. Uh, the first thing that we're going to want to do is go to Setup, Remote, and make sure Card MIDI is selected. We're going to be using the XUSB card to transfer the MIDI signal uh, between our QLab Mac and our console. Okay, you can take a look at that there. And we just have a return coming from the Mac via 3.5, the dual quarter inch, into uh, two of the aux inputs. All right. Now we're going to go to meters, I'm sorry, not meters, setup, <laughs> not setup either, cues, and um, you can take a look, I have a few cues set up here. Uh, let's switch to QLab real quick so I can give you guys an idea as to what's going on here. I have um, all these blue cues are going to play some audio back, so if I hit go or my space bar, you can hear some audio is being played, then I hit fade, and then it's automatically going to stop the cue. You can see I have auto continue on over here. Um, to just stop that cue, all right? Uh, you can't play back a uh, memo cue like I thought you could. Uh, <laughs> I feel like an idiot about that. Um, so we're just gonna have to deal with that. Let's go to MIDI here, and you can see I have that memo cue uh, with a MIDI channel, except it's you're not gonna be able to see that get played back because there's nothing to play back in a memo cue. All right, but you can see scene one has a value of two. It's a control change. You can use a program change, but I'm using control changes, uh, fade, also has all these have their own values you can see that there okay that's basically the idea so let's go into QLab into workspace settings just so you know if you watch part one to this series which is in the description below you can use your musical MIDI controls as well along with this uh, with this new setup so let's go to MIDI make sure XUSB is patched into MIDI patch one and once that's done we can come out of there uh, hit done down here. Flips back over. All right. So if we play scene one, oh, we already did that. Let's click scene one, hit edit, MIDI trigger, and then let's capture scene one. And it's going to send the MIDI cue. All right. You can see now we have that captured. Let's go to fade scene two. Hit go. Oh, wait. Actually, let's hit capture. <laughs> go and we're good there let's do scene two midi and we're gonna do a control change capture scene two fade scene two midi trigger engage control change capture we can hit it there we go and this should be fade, right? Yep. Bam. All right. We don't have those stop cues on the X32 because it's an automatic cue. It just follows the previous fade. All right. So let's click scene one. It's going to start that. Now we've clicked next here to go to our next cue in the cue list on the X32. Then once we hit go on fade scene one, that's exactly what it's going to do. Fade scene one. Then at scene two, once that starts, bam. And then fade scene two. There you go. So this is just a basic video on how to use uh, MIDI triggers between the X32 and QLab. It's very simple, really, and I hope most of you guys have gotten it. If you don't, uh, you can do one simple thing, and it's to go donate five dollars on the Patreon uh, page, and you can get unrestricted access to our support team. And we're we're uh, here to help you guys. You're going to get a code in your email once you make that donation, and then you'll have contact with our support team. Uh, via email and it's support at zavasound.com but if you don't have that code we um, or a previous purchase receipt we are not going to be able to help you uh, you can contact us on uh, Twitter and there we might be able to do um, you know help you guys with some easy stuff and uh, but hopefully most of our videos will cover everything you need to know all right so thank you guys for watching once again follow us on Twitter at Zava sound and we hope you have a good day bye bye